Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Thursday, so we all know what that means. It is time for Retail Tycoon 2 updates. Um, I just joined and it looks like my game's having a little trouble loading. Everybody's stuck in the ground. Here we go, one broke free. <laughs> all right, I've had... Oh, look at all those. They're all stuck. There we go. There we go. Um, one by one. I've had people get temporarily trapped before, but I'm not sure I've seen them go this long. My customers are trapped. All right. Well, while those little bugs are fixing themselves, let's go ahead and check for updates. So we are going to go into settings which is the little gear shift little gear thingy up here on the left hand side go ahead and hit that and then the second symbol down on the left hand side of the box that popped up one that looks like a little sheet of paper all right 1.6.4 so 623.22 so there is a new update um added a toggle in settings to offload pathfinding calculations onto your own device. Okay, well, uh, pathfinding is just what it sounds like. It's your your character, and then the um, you know the Roblox characters being able to find paths, like walking through the store. Um, like the, the, uh, guard that you just saw go off screen, being able to like figure out where to go without running into a car or just bumping up against the wall. So figuring out the path, the open, the open spaces that they can go basically. So a toggle in settings to offload pathfinding calculations onto your device. So rather than the server, I'm guessing can lessen server load. Okay. Makes sense. It's a beta feature, so it's in testing, so it may be buggy, blah, blah. Fixed objects losing color palettes when moved. Okay, I, had, I haven't noticed that happening, so it's good to know it's fixed. <laughs> fixed register pathing issues on the hilltop plot. Oh, I almost never go on the hilltop plot. Um, it's usually been claimed or else one of the first spaces when you join is open and I just grab one of those. So apparently there was an issue up there. Fixed, maybe fixed cars, not despawning sometimes. <laughs> okay, good to know, good to know. All right, so let's go ahead and look at look at this toggle. Um, let's see which settings is it going to be in these settings. Camera mode, movement mode, volume, full screen, graphics. No, no. All right, so maybe in these. Oh, yep, right at the bottom um, where the red off is local pathfinding beta. Let's go ahead and switch it on. Okay. So now my device is handling pathfinding. So let's see if anybody runs into a wall. I don't see anybody running into a wall. Everybody found the opening of the fence. Okay. That guy stepped right in front of my restocker. Rude, but you know. Um, is anybody finding this hallway? So my worker found the path between the two storerooms. All right, that person found the path up to the outside area. So it seems to be working. I feel like there are not many customers in here. Actually, it's much busier than this. upstairs and see there's a few customers up here I guess no 
I'm stuck. There we go. Yeah, okay. So it seems to be working fine so far. I don't notice any bug issues. Now I did decide... Why does that person keep changing? Is that two people standing there? Maybe that's a bug. Look at that. They're standing in each other and over here the same thing. Ooh, creepy. Um, anyway, I did decide that I wanted to change where my path goes. I'm going to flip it, actually. Um, there, one left. So now we've got a second one. So what I'm going to do is... Move. I'm going to go into tools. Go up to the second floor with the little arrows on the bottom right hand side there. And I'm going to move. It'd be easier if I turn this way. So using the arrows at the bottom right hand side, the little four arrows. I'm going to. Uh oh. Whoop! I can move that. That's not what I wanted to move. I just randomly touched it because nothing else. So apparently you can't move these stanchions. I thought you could before. Tapping, tapping, tapping. Nothing's moving. Whoops, didn't want to move that. So I wonder why they're not moving. I could swear you could move them before. All right, we will try trashing them. I'm going to turn back. Now, see, so you can trash them. <clears throat> so, I guess what I'm going to do... Nope, don't want to trash the floor. Nope, nope, nope. I need to move a little further back. There we go. All right. And we will that one all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have customers come in from the opposite side Oops. i already forgot what stanchions were under was it walls dividers all right. Okay, that does not want to move. So something's going on with... There we go. So we're going to put that there. And then we're going to put one here. So the customer's... <laughs> they still come in from the sides. Um, I'm going to watch and see which direction they exit. Now see that guy found a path right through the thing. I just want to see which direction they're going to exit to. So I can see if I can put a divider down. Oh, they're buying a lot. Come on, pay, pay. You know what? I'm just going to put one there anyway. Not there. Come on. Rotate, drag. Man, that is really having trouble. There. So we'll put it there. And then I'm going to guess. I'm going to exit. Now, why are they not? Why is it taking so long at the cash register? Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing over here. I'm going to get rid of this one. Yeah, 
I don't know if it's my screen or what's going on, but I'm really having trouble getting stuff to do what I want it to do. Alright, so we're going to do the opposite. Rotate that. Put it on this side. And drag it over here. And see what happens. Did that customer leave? Yeah, that customer left without me noticing. Now, okay, so the customer, that customer followed the path. Don't know why that security guard is just standing there. But, okay. Anyhow, those are the new things for today. Um. Uh, not really that, I guess, exciting to the game, but if it's helpful in not overloading servers or whatever, then hey, I'm all for it. Whatever makes life easier. Okay, we've got a security guard. Nope, look at these security guards. Oh, look at this. There's definitely something going on. These guys are still trapped here and those guys are still trapped there. So anyhow, trouble with stuff loading today and security guards doubled up inside a car. Oh, those ones are finally free. <laughs> so let's see, just out of curiosity, I'm going to untoggle that. Oops. And just see if that makes anybody move. Cause see that person just walked right through the car. Hey, security guard. Are you frozen? There they moved. But these guys are still trapped. So no, I don't think it had any real effect on that. Now see, he's stuck in the car. So who knows? All right. Anyway, go back and turn that back on. And well, thanks for checking out the video. Sorry, it's not anything more exciting, but now you know what it is and how to use it. And time will tell if it's effective. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Have a great weekend. Stay cool. And I will see you all later. Bye.